All right, so here we are at the historic Plank Road site, or Plank Road historic site, if we want to say that more correctly. So we got a monument over here, and we've got a piece of the actual Plank Road that you can walk on. It's kind of cool. So uh, what's going on here was from 1915 until 1926, this Plank Road was basically the only way for automobiles to traverse about seven miles of the Imperial sand dunes. All right, so here we are at the historic Plank Road site, or Plank Road historic site, if we want to say that more correctly. So we got a monument over here, and we've got a piece of the actual Plank Road that you can walk on. It's kind of cool. So uh, what's going on here was from 1915 until 1926, this Plank Road was basically the only way for automobiles to traverse about seven miles of the Imperial sand dunes. And so what would happen was teams of horse-drawn um, horse -drawn teams would move the plank road sections when they were being uh, overtaken by the shifting sand dunes. So apparently the sand moves a lot. And in fact, I noticed on my way over here, just on the road, there were several sections that I crossed over that were pretty sandy. Um, so kind of interesting. So this part they've got uh, cordoned off so that you can't actually, you know, I guess, well, I guess I could go under their little barrier and walk on it, but I think it's to keep like the off-highway vehicles and stuff off. So anyway, the, uh, the plank sections were built 8 by 12, and there were a few sections where they would also be um, doubled up, you know, side by side so that you could pass. But I guess basically it was otherwise a one-lane, one-way road except for passing sections, so pretty cool. What we can see here, the metal bindings are kind of beat up, but, you know, it's been a while. And so they're uh, preserving this as a California State Historic Site. So I thought this was uh, kind of a cool thing to stop and see. Go for a little walk in the sand. I think I'm going to have to take my shoes off and empty them out after this because the sand shifts quite a bit. It's definitely thick. And, uh... Yeah, kind of a cool little stop. If you're out this way, it's about uh, five minutes off of the 8 freeway. So not bad at all. Just a little stop over. Uh, and one of the things that said on the plaque over here, it was kind of cool. The, uh, the plank sections were built off-site and then brought here and assembled into the road seven miles all together. Apparently there's not very much of it left. And it kind of fell into disrepair. So then in the 70s, they worked on a uh, revitalization project to uh, be able to, to get this. And, you know, it's a partnership now with all the people they're doing off-highway vehicle stuff, which is also cool. All right, we're going to get back on the road and see where we end up next. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and always remember to sally forth, live your best life, go out and adventure in whatever way works for you.